Hi guys, it's Fernanda from the Do You Love Revolution and today I want to talk to you about something really, really important that we must talk about, which is comparison. I know and you know that we keep comparing ourselves to other people the whole time and this is so dangerous because it can really be a trap and get us stuck and get us not moving towards a life that we love. But on the other hand, I do find that there's a way to use comparison on your favor. So I want to start breaking down this idea of comparison so we can use it as a tool for you instead of like something that it's keeping you stuck and making you feel bad and feeling like you're a failure in your life. I want to start with a quote that a mentor of mine told, to me, talk, told me that I really love, which is, do not compare your backstage with someone else's highlight reel. And what does that mean? That sometimes, the, mo the, the times that we tend to compare ourselves are the times that we're not really trusting in what are we, what are we doing, the way things are going, and we are feeling a bit down or a bit doubtful. And we start looking around and we start looking at how people are doing well. This, thriving they are doing the things they want to do they have money to travel they're in beautiful places they have beautiful relationships and we start looking at them and saying what's wrong with me like i can't figure it out so the, the first thing that i want to start just mystifying is that because we know that what we see other people doing usually is the best part of their life because this is what we want to share when something is going well is when we want to share with other people because we're inspired, we're uplifted, we're feeling happy, so we want to share. And these are the moments that you're there on Facebook or social media or even the way you're being is like you're radiating light and happiness and people are going to look at you and feel that you know, you, you've you got it all. Because at that moment you do feel like you've got it all. But the reality is that we, we know at the moment that we are the spotlight, that most times we're not there by accident and it just didn't, it, it just didn't happen. For example, at times that I'm traveling and I'm posting um, pictures of, my, of, of the travels that I'm doing, I'm there and I am leaving a, a beautiful memory and I do want to share, but at the same time, I know that didn't happen so easily. It took a lot of hard work. It, to, it takes a lot of compromising for, for us to travel. We, we don't have a bunch of things that people that we know that are our age do. Like we don't, we don't own a car, for example. We choose to live a different life so we can afford to travel more. This is a... Um, it's an option. So we're there, we live in that beautiful, that beautiful experience, but that doesn't mean that was everything so easy. One of the stories I love to share is a friend of mine who, who is Brazilian as well, and she's now living in New Zealand. And she is doing really well. She has her own business. She got the New Zealand citizenship and she is thriving. She's beautiful and she's doing well. And it's so easy to look at her and say, oh my God, she's so lucky. But I know because I'm so close to her how much she fought to be there. She had a really tough childhood and throughout her whole life she worked so hard and she grabbed each opportunity and did everything she could to take the most out of it. And now she's just grabbing the results out of it, out of a lot of hard work. So it's very dangerous to look at the to what's in front of us and think that that's just magnificent and they're so lucky and we don't have as many opportunities or we're not as lucky. So this is the number one. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is how can we use then this fact that we do compare ourselves with others to actually t take us to the next level, to help us. Because here's the thing, I don't think we'll ever stop comparing ourselves. I think it's just human and it's natural you know it's very natural to to compare but i do think that's a very great tool for growth because it's when i compare myself to others 
that I can actually start grasping better what I want for my life. So there's one thing to compare, look at someone else and say, oh, you know, they have that, they're so lucky, I wish I was them without knowing what they have to go through what's the backstage of that story what's happily going what's actually going on because we never know but to actually say wow they have that i wish i had that too how can i have it and then you can start looking at even talking to them or talking to someone who has a similar experience and say how did you get there and learn the steps learn step by step how to get there so if we go back to my friend who is living in New Zealand what did she do to be in a position that she can have her own business and she she can live that permanently she did steps and we can learn those steps and use our own strengths our own skills to achieve these goals too or you can also use that as hints of what you want. So for example, you look at my friend and you say, oh my God, this is so exciting. She's living overseas, I wish I could do that. And you think, wow, what, what in that do I want? Do I really want to live in New Zealand? Maybe no, maybe I just wanted to live abroad. Do, do I want to live permanently overseas or just I want to have a one-year experience overseas? So we start using this comparison to give you hints of what is that you really want. Again, it's all the conversation of putting the puzzle together and I love to say that awareness is the first key to start understanding yourself better and learning how to do a powerful questions. The quality of your life is directly correlated to the, the power of your questions because it's only when you have powerful questions that you have powerful answers. So once you start looking what is in that person or that situation that I would like to have, then you would know what is that you want to build for your life and start looking how you can get there with the skills and talents that you've got. So it's a very useful way to use the comparison that we tend to use and not let ourselves down or you know throw ourselves a pity party because we don't have that and they're so lucky and i don't have it it's so easy for them this is so something we hear so much it's so easy for them to say that no it's not it's not it never is so it's very important that we focus on our, on our own story focus on yourself focus on what you got what you want and go for it don't get distracted by what's happening around you okay and use it to help you so i want you to tell me now what how do you see in your life that comparison can work out for you how can you use it to serve you how can you use comparison to serve you in your own life i'd love to know and again i know it's a deep question and it's personal so you're welcome to write me an email if you're not comfortable on the comments but i'd love to know and it's deep and i love deep relate deep <laughs> deep relationship no deep deep conversations i like to get deep and know what's really there so comment below let me know and again, thank you so much for being here and I'll come back tomorrow with another video. Bye.